Ah, uh, so this could actually be a good old camping trip. We might even get some uh, bear action. Even better. <laughs> Muckiest windscreen in the world. <laughs> Taking out a few flies. <laughs> okay, so we're in the tiny town of Port Alice, I believe, which is in the north side of Vancouver Island and um got to fill up with gas one of these bad boys while she's doing that i need to scavenge for some sort of wood i guess that we can have our fire with tonight well this kind of all looks like firewood potential i'm not entirely sure there's one thing that i have learned about canadians is that they love trucks I seriously love them this is my attempt at firewood catching. It's probably nowhere near enough. <laughs> Should never send a pong. Are these all the rules? Wow. Cool. Once the gates are locked at 11 p.m., there will be no way in or out. There will be no exceptions to this rule unless an emergency of medical or fire. <laughs> They're really serious about camping over here, aren't they? We're literally the only ones in this entire campsite. Slightly off season right now, apparently. Doesn't look like the rubbish has been disposed of properly at all, which is always good. But when you're in bear country, and a fed bear is a dead bear, and clearly something's been scratching around this bin. Yeah. Hopefully it was a while ago. It was a horror film. And we are, as we are, the only people here. This would technically be with the one where everyone gets massacred, right? 13. This is so nice. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? I like the random cans of whatever they are. Just left over. No, I didn't bring my first aid kit. Seriously though, that's one massive tree. Beautiful. There are some traditions, I'm not sure why we don't do them in England. Mm. <laughs> so, um, Alex has been losing. That magic cards, I've just introduced it to her. A name that some other people might know it as uh, Pooh Head. And um, it's getting super competitive now because she's finally picking up on the rules. <laughs> I kind of wish I never taught her because I might lose the next time and it won't get the same buzz. Look at that, that is a game face, if ever I saw one. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's do this. Do I still have smuts on my face? Yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm sure that looks super intense. Oh, it does. So, sun has set. We're going down to bed early because we've got a big day ahead of ourselves tomorrow. So this is a humble abode again. And we're going to fit two of us in here somehow. There's lots of room. There's lots of room. Good night. So we're awake. Alex is hiding because uh, it was a bit of a rough night's sleep. We had one slight panic. We thought we were the only people here. And just as we were like 10.30, turning our lights off, some car like swerved into the campsite at speed right near where we were. 
<laughs> and um, Alexa thought her car had been stolen, <laughs> so we had to run out to see what was going on. Turns out it's probably just locals coming down for a drink. Um, so that was one little panic. Didn't hear any wildlife, other than a big crow that woke us up at the crack of dawn. Um, so I'm just going to see if there's any tracks or anything around that we missed. Um, yeah, on to the next day. <laughs> um, we're right by a lake and there's no bathroom here and there's no running water and I'm one of those sad people that likes to feel clean when I start the day. Alexa doesn't quite feel it, I don't think. <laughs> snowed and it's just all of the gravel. Oh, oh there's a bear, there's a bear, there's a bear. It's gonna go and it's gonna be way gone. Oh shoot, black bear, black bear. So we're on a logging road, um, going for a trail and a hike and we've seen two black bears already, both of which took off quicker than I could film them. Kind of near this point. I've got the bear spray anyway, just in case. Um, but everywhere we go, I keep seeing bear scat, which is really cool, because it means that there are actually quite a few bears in this habitat. And I don't get to see black bears very often, because they're like grizzly bears, arch nemesis. But here we go. You can have a look, got some bear scat just down here. So this is definitely bare, you can see it's got, yeah, loads of uh, vegetation in there. It's not quite berry season yet, so it's not red or purple. Um, and it's not that big either, quite dry, it's not fresh, which is why I'm holding it. <laughs> I'm absolutely gutted, I didn't get any footage of the two bears that just ran off, but hopefully we'll get some more. Um, but it's kind of cool because it's nearly coming up to hunting season um, so it's good, it's good that they're skittish around here you don't want them to hang around cars and they were quite big, decent size, grizzly size which is cool so we're going to go on a trek and if we see any more hopefully I'll get my camera out in time just your casual stride out in amongst this fantastic scenery for the bears, mountains, trees Alex. <laughs> hey bear. So we're shouting hey bear every 30 seconds because this place is pretty well covered and the worst thing that could happen is we got in between a mum, black bear and the cubs. We really don't want to spook them and do that. So we have to let them know that we're coming. There's not much wind but usually they'd smell us first. So we're just going to help them out a bit by shouting hey bear. I'm not shouting, but hey, ba, just like that. It's kind of like mouse, only they don't come to it. <laughs> they run away. Got a bear print here. Ding, 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 ding. It's hard to see, but it's there. All of those are logging roads, like veins. Old landslide over there. So the craziest thing about this ecosystem is that the soil is so sandy and so thin on the ground when uh, big trees like this one here is a great example. Ooh. If you look up here, they're like literally just clinging on. And when that goes, it's going to take a lot more trees with it. No, I think they're pillow basalt, so they form at the bottom of the ocean and when magma comes up, it kind of like bubbles up at the bottom of the ocean and then basically freezes instantly in these kind of like bubbly forms. That's and cool. So you get these pillows one on top of another. Like those bad boys. Yeah. I'll pause them, but look at this shape here. Like see this right here? That just bubbles up and then another one bubbles up underneath and they just kind of... Well, that's pretty cool. Geology is cool. Uh, so we just stumbled upon some sort of abandoned mine. 
quarry even. It's definitely a quarry, it was a quarry. Check this out. Okay, kind of fighting the urge to go in here. Looks kind of slippy. Sounds like there's a super big waterfall. I really want to know what's there though. Massively wishing that I brought a head torch right now. Damn it! Damn it! Another really cool little cave. I've lost Alex because there's so many rocks about. Take a geologist on a walk with you and they come back with a bag full of rocks. <laughs> Which rocks will make the cut? <sighs> it's a stressful process. Back to the car. There's a bear! Hey bear, it's okay. It's okay bear. It's a black bear. How cool is that? Can you go forward just a tiny bit so it's not blocked by the branch? Black bear's reaction mainly, as you just saw when they see people, is to bolt for trees and to climb up them. Oh my goodness. The best day ever. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> Have you got any rock regrets or any that you wish you'd have picked up that you didn't? <laughs> I could have taken half of that pit of rocks home with me. <laughs> <laughs>